Hey y'all, it's Anime Gamer, and today I'm gonna be live reacting to Sherazanam episode 10. And now I'm gonna start this live reaction in 1 0 go. Alright. Last week's episode was super intense, and I wonder what we're gonna get this week. Poor Rail, though. And I guess it makes sense that the future only exists for one's so the desires, because in order to live in life, you kind of do need a desire. It's what keeps people going. What the? Damn, that fucking odor looks like a... Oh! Oh, man. Poor Mabu. Y'all, in support of the accomplice, I'm gonna eat a cucumber right now, and I'm gonna eat it as quickly as possible. Let's see how much of this cucumber I can eat before the episode starts, while the opening is playing. Oh! 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 Wait, some of this is expired. Oh, okay, the other side's good. Ah! Ow! Oh! I can't eat. I can't eat this shit. Wait, is it expired or? Let me bite it again. Maybe it's. Ah! Oh! Why the fuck did I do this? It is expired. What? I bought this three days ago. Fucking Walmart. Their shit's usually good. It shouldn't be expired. It's only three days old. Well, y'all, I tried to eat a cucumber during an opening, but I guess it was for not. I'm gonna drink this water to get the taste out of my mouth before episode starts. Oh! Oh, what the fuck was that? All right, back. Oh my. Oh! Oh, for a second, I thought that was an intense to kill. Motherfucking rail. What? Oh, that is a human. Whoa. Okay, that's a plot twist. Wait, he's actually going to work with them? Okay. Hmm. And that's what we all love about you, Kazuki. Yeah! Okay. Oh, but then again, he does have all the power considering he does have the gun. <clears throat> hmm. Ah, poor, poor. Cappy. <clears throat> oh. Okay, that can't be good. <clears throat> I don't think Roto should be calling Mabu a traitor, though, considering that Mabu's body was put together, though, and it's not as original. But I could see Rail's anger, though. Ha ha ha! 
Oh, that's thumbnail worthy. Oh! Oh. So that explains why he has so much love for Mabu then. I mean, originally I thought it was because Mabu sacrificed his life to save Rail, and that's why he had love, a lot of love for him. And I, and I was like, you know what, that's justification. But now that we know that little backstory there where they met when they were kids, when Rail was lonely, that just further justifies why Rail would go to these lengths. So, so far, so good for the episode. That is an information we had to know, but it enhances the lore of the show. Wait, what? Oh my. <clears throat> oh. Oh my. Although fusing with something that has dark in its title doesn't usually seem like the best idea though. But if it's desperation does crazy things to people. Oh. Oh yeah, that flashback. I mean, the order has a. The order is somewhat right because of the flashback we saw. What the? Oh my. Eek. I do like the art style though with the black and white with the red aesthetic. Actually orange, it's more like orange. Gotta hope Penta can snap out of it, but the order, I'm assuming, is really powerful, so that's highly unlikely. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Oh, sh- Wait, is Enta gonna die? Okay. He broke out of the control. Good, good, good. Ah, it's not his fault though. It's the motherfucking odor's fault. I can't, I don't blame him. Alright. Wait, no! No, I, I, don't, I don't want him to die. That'd be bullshit. Okay, I thought that was blood for a second. That was that scared me shitless. Yes! Oh boy! Rail! Okay, more like man. Good. God! What the? <laughs> Wait, what?
No. Hopefully, uh, something can save Mabu, even though we know it's a doll. Oh, never mind. We're not gonna get that. A save, I guess. So we're gonna have him transform into Kappa then Mabu and he's gonna assist Kazuki. Oh shit! I was right! Oh, oh lord! Okay, I, I wanna see this. Mabu zombie? Okay. I didn't know I wanted this, but I'm fucking glad I got it! Let's see how powerful he is as a Kappa zombie. Mm -hmm, I have to take back. One of the few times where I do want to see these cop, one of these cop song. Right. Ooh. But how is he gonna do it? But is he on himself? Or how is he gonna do the spin thing? Oh, it looks like Mambo's not defending himself. Okay. Oh, I see. Mambo did it so that. He could transform himself into a Kappa zombie so that Mob so that Rael can extract the Shiranama and make a fifth dish. That's why. Okay, I get it now. I like the song. Yes. Grab yourself some ass, Rael! Grab that ass! Yes! Now grab that Shiranama! Do it! Yes! Alright. Got number five now. I'm assuming it's gonna be he wants to spend time with Rail. Ah. What the? Okay, now that's just some devious, maniacal shit from the others. I hate them now. I hate them even more. I mean... So that puts in Gatantix everything now. Oh. Kind of feel sad about the whole. And now I feel sad for Rail. Never thought they'd actually make me feel sympathy for him. Alright. Actually, like it. A nice change of fate with... <gasps> that explains the opening, why they were doing this! Oh! It was there in front of us this whole time in the opening! Okay! Come talk about mind-fucking me even more now. Yukuhara made such an amazing series. My goodness. Oh, so that's why Rel felt all those negative emotions towards Amabu throughout the series then. Uh. <clears throat> okay, who would have thought I would... I never thought going in I would feel sympathy for Ro and Mabu, but... Yeah. 
He didn't understand, but at least he understands now, and that's all that matters. Sam sure likes to wreck our emotions, doesn't it? <clears throat> I mean, what is, I guess his option. <clears throat> Got a point. What the? Whoa! Never thought he'd be that buff. I guess it makes sense. He wouldn't want to get the other dishes of hope to try to see if he can revive Mabu. So I can see why Ray was doing that right now. Emotional distress. Emotional distress is a bitch. If I were Kazuki, I'd be like, okay, sure, man. Because if... Oh! Okay, I didn't expect that. Okay, where's Koji when you need him? I, okay, by now I expect Koji to shoot him in the back, hopefully. To show up, hopefully. All right, yes. Trent, oh. All right. At least they'll still remember. Wait, I'm assuming it's Kuji. He's the only one. It has to be Kuji. I was on the money! Still, that is kind of sad. Man. I mean... You know, I'm glad Akasuki saved. It does give a depressing feeling. I would get some words of wisdom from Sana. Hmm. What the? What was that? Hmm. All right. Oh! But I wonder though, could you want to use that to revive his own brother? Oh! I guess I was on the money there too! I mean... It's kind of suck for Kazuki, but... Shit. 
Shit. Um. No! Come on. I want to see what happens next. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, oh, they just know how to pull on my emotions and just rip them apart and then chew them out and spin them out. But you know what? I love it. It's painful, but I love it. Oh, ten out of ten episode. Ah. Oh. Wow. It just did everything, it did everything right. Even though I was able to see what was coming ahead of time, like for example, Rail being shot by Kuji, then Kuji wanting to get the dishes of hope for his brother. Even though that I saw that coming, it was still all amazing though. The execution, the emotion. So from a story standpoint, this episode's a 10 out of 10. And it even its revelations make sense if you think about it, because the opening even foreshadowed, like when Real Mob was doing this in the opening, it did foreshadow properly that they were coppers. And, it's, and considering that they did have a good amount of knowledge on the whole situation, and they even knew about things like Tisha Hope, it makes sense. So, oh, an after credit scene! What's gonna happen? Enter? But would Kazuki be dead though? For doing. Oh no? Oh. Is he gonna kill himself, Kuji then? Oh, never mind, he isn't. Oh my. What in the f Oh. What the? Eesh. Oh, I need to see. I need to see what happens next. Woo! Okay. Ten out of ten episode. Wow. So um, yeah. This episode. Wow. So that's what, now on the story standpoint, I guess that shows you more of Kuji's character development, I guess. Because for one, he chose not to shoot Kazuki and Enta out of fear or anger instead. He even said it with a sad and kind of defeated tone that I would have done the same thing about you. So in a way, I guess I kind of like that. Because for one, having Kuji first have that outburst of he wants to use the dishes for his brother it was reasonable because he is still a child but him not shooting Kazuki into shells enough that to a large extent he has matured and he probably realized that that was the logical conclusion so with him afterwards lowering his hand and not shooting it does show you subtle large amounts of character development so that's what I like really love about Shredder Zanam it gives you all these bunches of character development without spoon fitting you in the face. It respects its audience. And that is what makes the show really gratifying. And aside of doing all that animation foreshadowing, I like how this episode was sad. Like, even though the death of Rail Mabu wasn't as sad as the death of Kuji's brother, because we got to know more about Kuji's brother and all that kind of jazz. Rambo and Rail still dying, still, it was still, still did a good job of making me feel something like, even though I didn't tear up, 
when in comparison when to when Kyuji's brother died, I still felt sad for those two. Offense considered just seeing all the efforts that Ryo tried to do from Mabu and all that. So I did and I did think their death scene was amazingly handled. And I gotta give a great job for the writing staff on doing that. Because had they not shown in the previous episodes like Mabu getting in front of Rail so that Rail wouldn't get hit and some of the other stuff like that, then their death wouldn't have had that kind of power. But since they had all this build up, it was powerful. And again, a lot of anime should take from Shadow Zanam. And that's why I felt from a story standpoint, it was amazing. From a character standpoint, it was amazing. We got Kuji character development, Mabu and Rail character development. We got to see. Kepe do some cool stuff too, like block a bullet with this, with this some um, shafts and all that. So that was great. Our animation was perfection. Honestly, this continues being my favorite anime of the season. If it keeps this up into go episode eleven, this will be by far my favorite anime of the season. And yeah, y'all, this is my thoughts on the episode. Comment down your thoughts in the comments section below how you feel about the episode. Rate the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you subscribe for more. Alright, thank y'all so much for watching everyone. Bye-bye.